It's Cam from Chin Checkers. You know, follow me, Chin Checkers 7 on Instagram. You know the deal if you've been following my videos. Thanks for the support, guys. Um, I want to get into these fights that we had this weekend over in Belfast. Um, we had uh, Carl Frampton versus Luke Jackson at the featherweight division. And um, that fight was very one-sided. Um, you know, Luke Jackson was 16 and old. Carl Frampton, he's a, you know, very uh, decorated fighter at, in the featherweight division, you know. And um, Luke Jackson wasn't throwing, um, wasn't letting his hands go in the first first two rounds. And he started letting his hands go in the third round. But that was even worse because when he was letting his hands go in the third round, he was getting countered a lot by Carl Frampton. And um, he was getting hit hard, man. I mean, those counter shots was just nasty. And you, you could hit a thudding shots. And, um, you know, Carl Frampton was getting off first a lot. And in the second round, started going down to the body. And he was in the ring looking real calm and relaxed. Like, it, it kind of like it was a sparring session for him. And he was walking through a lot of Luke's punches. And then in the eighth round, hit Luke with a, a body shot that put him down. And when he came out in, Luke came out in the ninth round, and Carl just, Carl smelt the blood and was just going after him. And uh, unfortunately, Luke's corner threw in a towel. And Luke looked good, but you could just tell that, you know, he was just, he stepped up into a whole new ball game. You know, it's levels to this game, and he just wasn't on that level. And hopefully he's able to bounce back from this, learn from this, and bounce back. And even though that was the main event, we're going to talk about the real fight. And it's the return of Tyson Fury. And I know you guys are going to be like, yo, Cam, but yo, he, he had a fight earlier in this year, and, and that was his return. And if you consider that a return, then I, I, I don't know. I don't. But this fight was more of a return fight for Tyson Fury against uh, Franceco Pineta. I said it right. Thank you. And um, Francesco wasn't, he wasn't throwing too many, too many jabs and he, he was trying to walk down Tyson Fury without throwing punches. And um, in the sixth round, um, you know, Tyson started coming forward and going downstairs and fighting toe to toe. And um, Pineta was leaning on the ropes and, and squaring up, which isn't the, which wasn't a good move because he couldn't really like pivot to the right or pivot to the left to get out of the corners or off the ropes. And that's when uh, Tyson started bringing it to him. But Tyson Fury, to be 6'9", almost 260, I think he's probably was maybe like 255 in that fight. He's very quick and he can move and he has a lot of awkward movements. And, like, that'll throw almost any fighter off. And his feints, it looked like he's Harlem shaking when he's throwing his feints. And, <laughs> you know, but uh, in the eighth round, he really started taking it to Pineta and, and letting, him, letting them hands go. And he was letting them hands go and came away with a new, man, a new unanimous decision within all 12 rounds. And, you know, this is going to set up the big fight that we want to see coming towards the end of the year with him and Tyson Fury. Um, not Tyson Fury, I'm sorry, with him and um, Deontay Wilder. So um, we're going to get to see what that's like. Um, you know, going to keep hearing on what's going on with that, keeping you guys informed of what's going on and when that fight will be. Um, one thing I do know is I've heard it's going to be in Vegas. And it should be a Showtime pay-per-view. So when that fight does happen, you know, people, please tune in. Because I think that's going to be one of the, the fight of the year candidates. But, um, you know, once again, follow me, Chin Checker 7. Thanks for watching. And I'm out.